Hawaii volcano Kilauea changed the shape of the Big Island with its uninterrupted stream of lava flowing out of its crater for more than two months. A stunning time-lapse video captured the changes the volcano went through during the active eruption and its aftermath. Hawaii volcano Kilauea wreaked havoc across the archipelago's Big Island with its devastating lava flow, covering more than 6,000 acres of land and destroying at least 700 homes. The U.S. Geological Survey USGS, shared a stunning time-lapse video to show the long-lasting effect of the eruption on the crater of Mount Kilauea. A lava lake can be seen in the Halemuamua crater of Kilauea in the early days of April before the lake drains out as explosive activity begins. The crater can be seen slowly expanding as the Hawaii volcano reaches peak activity in June. The volcano walls started to collapse causing the hollow to increase seven times its original size. Latest updates from USGS confirmed activity has slowed down and ground deformation is negligible at the summit but small aftershocks of a 6.9 earthquake triggered by the eruption continue to affect south flank faults. The USGS said, on the volcano's lower east rift zone, LERZ, no incandescence was visible in the Fisher 8 core nor was there any lava entering the ocean during this morning's overflight. Sulfur dioxide emission rates at both the summit and LERZ are drastically reduced, the combined rate is lower than at any time since late 2007. Despite the volcanic activity reducing, the Hawaii Civil Defense announced it will continue to monitor Kilauea as a new eruption could occur at any moment. The government organization said, while eruptive activity is minimal at this time, hazards remain. It is common for eruptions to go through periods of diminished output, or to pause completely, only to reactivate days, weeks, or even months later. Ray activation could occur at any time, with little to no warning. Kilauea began its latest eruptive pattern over 30 years ago in 1983 and hasn't stopped since then. The latest activity started on May 4 and has only just begun to calm down now. More than 700 houses and businesses have been destroyed by lava flows since the start of the latest phase on May 3, with more than 2,000 people evacuated. Hawaii's Big Island has grown by nearly 700 acres, the equivalent for more than 500 football pitches, local sources confirmed. Molten rock flowing into Kapoho Bay has cooled and solidified as it reaches the sea, creating a new land. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano seems to have slowed down in its activity. But is the eruption over? When could Kilauea's next eruption be? A lava pool located at the most active fissure on Hawaii's Big Island has disappeared according to scientists. The U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, released a report detailing the lack of lava at Fissure 8 in the Lower East Rift Zone, LERZ. Previously this fissure had been supplying a channel of lava which had entered the ocean at Kapoho Bay. The resulting reaction caused toxic clouds of lace to rise from the ocean, potentially causing serious breathing impairment for those who came into contact with the mixture of steam, glass and acid. Is Kilauea eruption over? The lack of lava seems to suggest the volcano is slowing down in its seismic activity. In their report, the USGS said, seismicity remains low and ground deformation is negligible at the summit of Killary Volcano. Earthquakes probably aftershocks of the magnitude 6.9 earthquake in early May, continue on south flank faults. On the volcano's lower east rift zone, a small lava pond was visible deep within the Fisher 8 cone on Saturday morning but lava was no longer visible in the cone yesterday morning or during UAS flights later in the day. There was still a single small lava dribble which was oozing lava into the ocean from the Kapoho Bay lobe spotted on an overhead flight by the Hawaii Volcano Observatory. HVO, on Monday morning. The recent impact of Hurricane Lane across the Hawaiian Islands had little effect on Kilauea say the USGS, apart from minor rock falls at the summit and increased steaming from Puo with Macron or with Macron and LER's events. The sulfur eruptions have been reported to be at their lowest level since 2007. The USGS said, sulfur dioxide emission rates at both the summit and LERZ are drastically reduced. The combined rate is lower than at any time since late 2007. Many will be hoping that this decline in activity is the end of the eruption for the explosive volcano, which had been erupting since May this year. This statement follows HVO's decision to reduce the alert level for ground-based hazards from warning to watch.
This means that the volcano will still be closely watched as the Hawaii Civil Defense warned reactivation could occur at any moment. The government organization said, while eruptive activity is minimal at this time, hazards remain. It is common for eruptions to go through periods of diminished output, or to pause completely, only to reactivate days, weeks, or even months later. Reactivation could occur at any time, with little to no warning. Hurricane Lane is set to reach Hawaii imminently sparking fears it will add to the devastation caused by the Kilauea volcano on Big Island. A shocking wind map shows the hurricane of the century slowly moving towards the U.S. islands. The Hawaii hurricane, which was downgraded to a powerful Category 4 hurricane on Wednesday, is set to make an impact on the southwestern tip of Big Island. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOWA, predicts the storm could unleash up to 30 inches of rainfall on Hawaii, as it ravages the Pacific Islands with 145 miles per hour wind speeds. The NOWA 5 a.m., 4 p.m. British Summer Time, update warns Lane is creeping closer to Hawaii, as torrential rain is soaking the Big Island. The storm is currently 210 miles, 335 km, south of Kailua Kona, and 305 miles, 490 km, south southeast of Honolulu. Category 4 hurricanes have strong winds between 131 and 155 mph and are strong enough to ruin buildings and make permanent changes to the coastal landscape. The powerful storm is slowly tracking toward the islands at 7 miles per hour, and areas under hurricane warning are the Oahu, Hawaii County, and Maui County, including the islands of Maui, Lanai, Malakai and Kahulalawi. Kala County, including the islands of Kauai and Nihau, are under hurricane watch. The slow movement increases the risk for prolonged heavy rainfall, strong winds, flash flooding and storm surges. The NOWA satellites feed warned, the slow movement of the storm increases the threat for prolonged heavy rainfall. Hurricane warnings are in force on Big Island and Maui, while hurricane watches have been issued by the National Weather Service across the rest of the state. Lane is a rarity because even though Hawaii is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, very few hurricanes have actually made landfall there. According to the NOAA's historical database, only a few hurricanes have passed within a few hundred miles of the islands, most recently Hurricane Hector earlier this month. No hurricane has made landfall since Iniki lashed the island of Kauai in 1992. Big Island, where residents have also been having to cope with the eruption of Kilauea volcano until activity fell off at the beginning of August, has never been struck since modern weather records began. Forecasts suggest that even if Hawaii avoids a direct hit from Hurricane Lane, southern parts of the state could still face damaging impacts. The NOWA uses the GOES-15 satellite, 22,000 miles above the Earth, to track hurricanes in the United States, western South America and much of the Pacific Ocean.